deploy the infrastructure right for example if i take a cloud right if you have want to have a vpc in aws you have a vpc subnets and everything right you, you use the terraform to get the infrastructure up and running and once the infrastructure is created right we are supposed to manage that infrastructure for example i have deployed some 50 machines virtual mach virtual instances or virtual machines in uh, amazon or uh, azure i want to install some software or do some configuration and everything right i can't really do the manual work let me tell you the people who are doing manual work right you are legacy yeah i, I might sound a little hard on you but i want to give you the facts here if you are doing things manual you are legacy nobody is expecting you that is what the things are going on in the market so what you need to understand you need to automate everything <clears throat> so so you need to be in a person like uh, you need to reduce the task because what happening is the extreme programming it's going on extreme programming is getting increased right so a lot of uh, the product need to be released as soon as possible i'll give you one of the example which i give to everybody imagine the demonetization in 2014 imagine the paytm is not there the paytm has introduced into the, if, if the paytm has introduced in 2015 nobody will be nobody cared about it right because paytm is already having some sort of market it might not be big market but some sort of a market before demonetization the moment it comes it is the only wallet of course we have free charge and everything but paytm is widely used and now wherever you go you see a paytm there right everywhere of course we have beam and everything but still that means go to market is very important so when you join as a devops engineer you will be given as a responsibility to helping the developers to go uh do the release as soon as possible okay so we're going to talk about ansible which what it will do is it will basically do the configuration of your our or your servers or all your uh, infrastructure i'm going to cover two modules in that one one is basically ansible and the other one is puppet so the most happening things in uh, configuration management is in windows you have dsc in linux world we have ansible puppet chef salt everything uh, uh, people say you want to cover chef but i'm not into chef guys that's why i'm going to cover ansible as well as puppet but if you are manage manage these two right then i think you can manage the uh, any any linux server very easily you can manage the chef very easily and finally once we come to the module 7 this is where the ci cd really starts continuous integration and continuous deployment right we are going to use the jenkins to deploy or automate everything until now we are doing the manual job but still we are we are automating it for example if i take uh, the docker and terraform right i'm doing i'm running the scripts automation script to deploy but i want to do automation of terraform itself do the ca cd pipelines that is possible using the jenkins we're going to talk a lot and finally we're going to integrate with all the other things in jenkins and finally in the module 8 right i'm going to talk about little bit about devops culture as well as agile terminologies because once you join a company right they're going to talk something like what is the issue user stories ABX, kanban boards a lot of things all will be there so we're going to talk about this agile technology and then we're going to talk about azure devops pipelines or pools as well as automation everything in the module 8 so after completing this course right assuming that you already have good knowledge on aws or azure so you will be able to automate everything in your cloud i don't say you will, you will be a master but if you are able to practice everything what i told you you can literally automate anything okay so this is the whole curriculum guys now the expectation is the expectation is something some way something like 50 to 55 hours actually but i kept 60 hours the reason is in between if i came across some new thing uh, which i want to explain i'm going to use that five hours as a five hours as a uh, uh, as a buffer actually now i said 50 days actually but in fact this will take almost like uh, this since is a weekend batch this will take almost like 10 weekend that means two and a half month okay so of course i can make in two months but again the two weeks the remaining as a five hours right that is actually as a buffer the last weekend is a buffer just in case if i get a new topic which i want to share with you the knowledge guys i'm going to use so you can put like nine weekends but max 10 weekends okay now in in today's class today's class will be a short class guys because this is the first class 
okay so uh, what will happen is today and tomorrow it will be short classes uh, two hours and two hours because uh, it's you can treat it as a demo which is not exactly a demo guys but you can treat it as a demo so today and tomorrow once everything is done right from next weekend right the meeting id is going to get changed i'm going to give a meeting id to the uh, to the people who paid the fee i'm going to explain all the fee details later okay now i'm going to start the first module to understand how to set up a lab actually in devops if you already know aws it's fine but uh, the people who don't have uh, idea on aws or something else i'm going to use aws to teach you the whole devops so i'm going to set up a lab uh, and then i'm going to start teaching the linux shell scripting today we're going to create some scripts linux basic commands and everything so until 12 o'clock that is the plan so before I go ahead, right? Uh, do you have any questions I need to answer? You can ask me just for five ten minutes guys and then we'll start. I just want to answer your doubts first and then I go ahead yeah, Are we covering Ansible tower in this? Uh, no uh, My plan is to uh, to include AWX actually, you know AWX Yeah, that's Ansible tower right or yeah, yeah, it's a private, but it is it is not now actually and will ansible vault as well as uh, it is not there But uh, I have plans to involve that one, but no promises, but I'll try to involve it Okay, and uh, what about the phase two phase one only we are discussing right? What about phase two phase two is about kubernetes and uh, Python that's that's later This this okay. is only Python phase we are uh, Okay, Python we are going for uh, Python scripting or uh, it's total how to use towards AWS. Like, again, you can leave it. We can talk about off trick of the offline actually. This is only phase one. Okay. Questions, guys. Uh, regarding Terraform, right? So, um, how depth are we going to use Terraform? Like, usually Terraform can be used on AWS and then OpenStack and everywhere. So, like, how how deep are we going for the terraform? it will go very deep but it will go over the aws i i can't run on multiple clouds right if i need to run on multiple clouds then the the number of hours will get increased and the price will get increased that, that's fine so i just on I, AWS. Know, it doesn't have to be other platform but yeah as long it as will it's go very deep okay yeah questions guys yeah actually james here mm -hmm. Hey, actually, in AWS, we have specific DevOps tools, right? Like uh, OpsWorks. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. coming what is the reason we have to learn specific other tools, right? Jenkins, Terraform, other things. So, you mean uh, uh, most of the companies they are not using AWS DevOps tools? What is the point See, of the problem? Tools? The problem there if the AWS DevOps tools is it's only in AWS DevOps. AWS that's it. That's a problem if you say code commit and everything so they, their tools are fine But they are not as effective as uh, for example if you take cloud formation, it's a good tool, but it's not as effective as terraform Yeah, so what will happen? It's only applicable to that AWS itself and co developer tools right developers you, you need to if you want to manage it Right, you need to have a build spec file app spec file and you need to code commit What if, if people are already using github? And again, I need to go for integration and everything. So what will happen is it gives the agility. So if, if you only use AWS, right? If you're not using anything, you can go ahead and use it. They are free tools as well. But uh, once once the number of projects are getting increased, right? So might be uh, the code build and code pipeline might not be suitable. So you want to use like a circle CIA or some other tools which are having good performance as well as additional features so one of the example i'll tell you for example if you take cloud formation which is infrastructure as a code tool now if i want to preview the uh, preview the uh, things right what exactly i'm going to deploy right it is it is not possible actually what either you deploy it and check it out in your test lab but terraform right you can run a plan and check it out what exactly we are going to do you can make the output of the plan and deploy it so obviously the third party tools have advantages if you take ssm which is uh, aws ssm uh, you can use actually uh, very well on aws but i i can also use for other platform also but it's not that effective when compared using puppet and ansible so there are advantages when compared to using the native tools of aws or in fact any any cloud actually so that's why they're standing aside okay, okay. Just have another follow-up questions so based on maybe your experience on the real time right so most of yeah. the uh, clients right who are using AWS so still are they using these third-party tools for the DevOps purpose 
okay so be being a guy who do the job support as well for h1b as well as uk guys right because whenever uh, when they were the train they get a job i give the initial uh, uh, like there is a, some word called hyper care yeah i think so in agile or something so i provide the job support as well initially like 15 one month actually so which i seen is they are actually recently i'm supporting two guys 